I'm good. I'm good, good. Good, good. The three, the six, and the nine first come in. Hello, Jordan. Let me fix my lighting. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, you guys. Gallery view. Okay. You know what? Four o'clock. This is, I'm thinking about in terms of game points, little points for when you show up on time, you show up, that's a big thing. And then you show up on time. <laughs> that's got to mean something. What are the, let's just do a quick brainstorm here around what could be points for being in a meeting to, to make, what do we want to reward? Sorry, what do you mean? Well, just like if we're playing a game, each meeting, there's a way to make points out of it. And you know, the obvious thing is showing up. The next obvious thing is showing up on time. Then like, what are all the things that are in a great meeting that you want to reward everybody for doing their part? Hmm. Clear speech. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to assess that one? I'm just the thing. What are the easy things to assess? Well, it would be nice to get snacks. Snacks, <laughs> snacks, <laughs> snack availability, snack time, snack time. Um, I don't know. Are we sitting in our gift or our or our city? That's a good one. How do we know that one too? We I don't should, know. We should have bars across our head, and, and which one are we going to be in? Phil? Which one will we be in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If shadow or city or changes of our tone. We should have a little a little um thing that says whichever I'm looking at my map and I'm gonna go, okay. I'm gonna choose a certain gift. Maybe. Ooh. Freshness is one of my <laughs> it's one of my gifts. But I don't know which number it is. Doesn't it say on the on the it wheel? Freshness is it's in the job. On my wheel, it's in job. Curl 2.3 missions. Oh. But I don't know what gene key number it is. Okay. How about while we're still waiting for people, why don't we do a check in? And there's something specific I would like you to check in about the value that is connected to the shared knowledge community. So for you, Lara, it would be integrity. For you, Jordan, it would be compassion. For you, Chino, it would be inspiration. And for me, it would be empowerment. I just wonder if you want to check in and maybe if you have a story of the week or something that happened to you in relationship to that that gift or value. I guess uh, this week, this week I've just been hanging out with little no, basically all week um, in a hidey hole. And I guess relinquishing my uh, 
integrity with myself um, this week. Definitely, yeah, self-care, things I got to do, mapping out what I want to do in my life and what I intend to happen, how I'm going to come together. So, yeah, finding out that, I guess, getting grounds in my integrity that I've done this week. Jordan? Uh, in com relation to compassion and my time of this recent week, I've noticed that um, in a few different relationships, on a few different accounts, there's an occurrence where um, somebody is expressing something that I feel is kind of like challenging to kind of the synergy that's being can created. It's kind of like uh, maybe the person, um, maybe I can, I feel like it's an unhealthy practice that the person or, or, or not a synergistic practice that the person is um, creating in their field in relation to me. And um, instead of addressing it in a way of like saying, I don't think that's like, right or trying to motion like in, in basically in fixing anything just allowing the space and actually shifting my mentality to actually since this is occurring in my field it's exactly what needs to occur in my field and this is data that i'm actually uh, receiving to know how to relate to the team not data that i'm meant to judge and to correct in any way it's not about correction based on my judgment it's about all of us working together and so I've been having these experiences where I'm just holding space and in absolute allowance and and uh, ushering in gratitude for it um, being given such a clear demonstration of um, how the data is being received and utilized by the other person's point of view. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Is that is that me? Sounds like a, a good, good expression of compassion. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Laura. What was your word again? Mine was integrity. Integrity. Okay. Mm. Okay. So me. Um. So yeah. Inspiration this week. Um. Okay. Well, I don't know if this is shared knowledge, but this is shared experience and it's shared, um, a shared um, creative experience. And I think when we do creativity in a group scenario, it allows for um, a, a different kind of inspiration. So that's kind of what happened to, with me this week. I had a ceremonial dance uh, event with uh, myself and five other women. So there were six of us. And it was just beautiful. So that's, um, and I guess I was inspired because uh, I, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of push, you know, from the universe, from spirit that's coming through other people, but it's, it's kind of pushing me to take a little bit of a, a little bit of a leadership, not really leadership, but more facilitation style of of um, place in my, you know, inner circle and in my home. So um, we had a, it was incre absolutely incredible, this, this uh, dance ceremony that we did with six people. And in a way it was synergizing all six of us to be in alignment with this beautiful dance energy where we were all left feeling inspired, you know, um, and a new idea with new ideas about how to, how to move forward in a kind of a um, community way that is that is different than what we've done before because um it's always been like gr large groups and so in this in this space of being um being controlled by society's whatever they're doing um finding you know finding new ways to come together and share our our in individual personal um, creative expression and inspiring each other. So 
I guess that's kind of what I'm looking for in this group scenario as well, um, is a way to like make each other accountable um, for what, you know, for what, what we're speaking, the truth that we're speaking here and also inspire each other. Yeah. And I think accountability is much easier when you're fully inspired by what you're doing. Yeah. So that's my thought. Thanks, Genoa, and welcome, Nova. We're just having a check-in. Everyone has checked in. And the main theme is looking at your value on the shared knowledge community wheel, uh, which would be boldness for you at the present moment. And so maybe if you have a bit of a check-in for last week, did boldness come in in any manner uh, into your energy field? Uh, hello, this is Nova checking in. Um, I, I'm attempting to use a light, but it's it's not really working. Um, boldness. Um, hmm. Well, I, I don't know. I, I can't say that I feel any more bold this week than any other week. Uh, but maybe I've just always been bold. I'll go with that. Anything else you want to say? Um, not at this time. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. looks like could be just S5, uh, a good, very strong five here. And I come up with a, a little agenda that was basically each of us having a show and tell for two or three minutes. And then each of us having a best next step. And then each of us having a, what do you need? And then this is more from your own individual level. And just looking if, if, if that agenda, how does that work for you guys? I just want to let you know that my computer's doing something weird. So I might have to, if it goes crazy, then I have to just come back in just so it's for me. And um, I also did with the one hour planner, I put some values down on there before we started. Mm. So you start with a, um, actually, maybe I could. I'm afraid to move the thing because it's going all wonky. But that one there, you know that that wheel. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What I was I was just thinking that to go straight into that one. I thought maybe we'd we'd just try even having any agenda before going right into that. <laughs> so just okay. something that was kind of simple that. Um, could be repeated by people. So how is, is next step? And what's the third thing? Third thing is what do you need? Oh, is that okay? Sounds cool. And then maybe if, there, if there's anything everyone, anyone wants to really speak about, if they can speak it out within that or not. Uh, so Lara, do you want to go first in terms of show and tell? Go and tell. What can I show? I'm in a. I'm in dire straits. <laughs> I don't have much to show right now at the moment, but I'm working through it, and I'm. I don't know. It's uh, trying to turn this all around. Me not having a home and not having, knowing where I'm going to go in the next few weeks. I'm really unstable. So I've just tried to really find the stability within my own self and my heart this week. Uh, and just trying to figure out why, um, I guess, yeah, nothing really works very well when you're scared, when you're living in fear. <laughs> and so uh, I'm just kind of trying to accept that and I'm trying to find action in instead of um hiding so that's basically what i have to sh i don't have much to show this week other than the fact that i've made a whole bunch of um felted fruit and food for my little two-year-old fairy goddaughter for her kitchen kind of cute can you show us sure i can show you <laughs> Kind 
Okay, I made or a tomato. <laughs> Very. <laughs> um, and some eggs. <laughs> Some delicious eggs, sunny side up. And this is the start of a carrot. I just have to put a top on it. And brought some blueberries here. Oh, delicious blueberries. So if anyone wants to become a breatharian, this is the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy and some strawberries like that. It's adorable. Yeah, so that's what, and then this is, this is going to be maybe a turnip, I think, or some, something like that. Parsnip. <laughs> a parsnip, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm <laughs> putting some energy into that, because <laughs> that makes me feel good in the moment. So that's good. Mm -hmm. um, I also worked on some chick magnets. <laughs> so I put a little magnet in it and it's a, it's a chick magnet. Huh? Get it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, so basically what I've been doing. And I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to write a letter. Um, and I need a Mandarin translator. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, Zamir, I think, can help with that. Really? Hi. Being advertised. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> yeah. I can help well, you find one. If it's simple, I can help you, but otherwise I'll help you find one. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> no problem. I've written a letter and I just, yeah, with the language barrier and stuff, I just want to make sure I sound cool. Not, yeah. Cool and smart. And you wrote it. You you wrote it in English, and you want to translate it into Chinese. Yeah. And you are going to send it to them in Chinese. Uh, yeah, I'd like to, or even, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Zamir. Uh, I just what we're doing is we're going to have a round of show and tell, and then a round of best next step, and then a round of what you need and everyone getting a, a chance for each one of these in three rounds and we're at the beginning of Lara just doing a bit of a show and tell. Yeah and I just showed my felted things that I made for my fairy goddaughter in her kitchen and some eggs but then I went into what I need so that I can stop there. All right so who'd like to go next? I can do a show and tell quickly. Okay. Um, I'm just going to show this. It's kind of been, it, can you see that? The lighting is kind oh, yeah. of. Oh, that's nice. It is a piece of art. It's a little more colorful than what you guys can see, but it, it represents, you know, um, praying to the sun. And it's sitting in my, it's sitting on my, on my desk, above my desk. And I have another similar one, but um, I've just been surrounding myself with some of my artwork and posting some of my poetry on my wall around my desk um, because I want to be reminded of the direction of where I'm going in my life. So I can show you another piece of art. This is another one with this just, you know, bowing and just, you know, wanting to share it. Um, it just represents to me some reverence and some peacefulness. And um, hmm. it's a it William inspires... Blake kind of feel, actually. Sorry? It's a William Blake style. William Blake. Have you ever encountered his work? Is he an artist? Isn't William Blake a writer? Yeah, he's a poet. 
um, and he would illustrate his own poetry books, but beautiful illustrations. Oh, I have done that as well. <laughs> I, would look, I would look up his work. It's very nice. Yeah, I have. I've done that as well. Um, so that's kind of in the background, you know, of, um, of what's happening with me. And I feel this coming out in the group scenario is more the forefront of me and my creative projects are sort of like the foundation of who I am. And um, I guess I'm wanting to bring more of that foundation to the forefront. And the other thing I already shared about my dance journey that I did this week. So those are the three creative things that I'm really wanting to focus more on my art, my dance, ceremonial dance. We had a beautiful ceremonial dance and my um and my poetry mm -hmm. all right thank you how about you jordan yeah i got i guess some cool new development in my mapping um let me just take my back no, no, not there we go okay so here's my um kind of nine divisions of consciousness and each one is like a show basically that I'm creating. And so there's 27 components here and each one of these 27, I dedicated to a very powerful woman in my life. And then on the other side of the board, if you follow the webs, over, okay, there's the days of the week. Um, and that's getting developed for the first time, which is very exciting. And each one of these, blocks there's three blocks per day monday through friday and each one of the blocks of the structure is dedicated to one of the powerful men in my life so i have um the light of my dedication to this powerful divinity feminine divinity entering into this very masculine powerful masculine structure um and so yeah it's the first time I've, i'm really like basically like letting this like powerful masculine energy enter into my world for the first time. And that is very, very exciting. It feels like, you know, the matrimony of my life, of my, of my own being. And I can see that represented in my relationship with my community for the first time. And that's uh, just ushering in like reason and logic and sense and like desire to connect to the celebration of life with everybody. Awesome. 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 Uh, how about you, Nova? Um, <clears throat> sure. Uh, can I share my screen quickly? Yeah. Um... Okay. Uh, I'd like to show you uh, my game real quick because I spent a lot of time on it and yeah, thought that made sense. Uh, oh. Also, uh, my internet connectivity is a little bit low, so. But uh, here I'm guessing you can see it. It's called Game of Planets. It's a massive online real-time strategy game. Uh, if I go into the game, you kind of see it's down here is the galaxy. It's quite large. Uh, over here is my home planet. I'm just using a uh, empire that just started. So you can see, my out here's my solar system. I got a planet here. Colonized this planet before, and yeah, you can just see so the stuff you can build, there's resources, things like that, and wow. if I go out of there. You can see there's a lot of different things you can research as technology. So there's seven different uh, fields of research and each one of these things like permaculture, for instance, is going to give you a few things. 
and you eventually progress in research, which allows you to do different things in the game. Um, yeah, and there's more to it, but I just thought I'd share it quickly. Way cool. Dope, man. That is so cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping to launch that March 1st. Uh, just kind of finishing up some some additions, some bug fixes, and gonna work on some marketing next month and hopefully have it ready to actually reach the world. Awesome. Right on. Yeah. Would you use Amira? Have you heard, sorry, have no, you heard a game called Cells? An app, a game called Cells? I No. Get it on your phone, man. I got hooked on it for like, Oh, during the pandemic for a few months and it's like you'll totally dig it it's about how we like it's about evolution and the evolutionary trajectory of the species and you start from like a prokaryotic cell and then like it evolves through all the different life forms and different civilizations and but it's just a tapping game it's not like you know but anyways i think you dig it cells okay so zubir you want to do your show and tell uh, I don't know if I have a show. Um, uh, do I have a show? I don't think so. A tell? Uh, a lot's been awesome. happening on, on, on my end. I'm working um, on a yoga program and a uh, program based on um, uh, healing attachment trauma and behavioral science psychology which is really exciting and um, and on a um, holistic health collective here. So a lot of, um, a lot of really great things, a lot of really great things. Um, I wish I had something more like tangible that I could show in this moment, like a physical thing, like some- What about your card deck? My card deck? Yeah. But I already created that before. No, but I, I don't think we've seen it or like, why don't you- uh... Okay, I'll bring it out, one second. Zamir has created this card deck over the last, I think it took him about a couple of years and uh, it's finished. It's on the market and my card deck, I finished 10 years ago and I still haven't got it even close. So it's. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I thought that was the point of these Sunday meetings to get your shit out into the world. I don't know exactly yet what it is now, but I have something to say on that later. Um, this is the, uh, this is the inner path deck. And it's a yoga philosophy practice deck opens like that. Nice little design. And it's for people who want to um, understand, apply, integrate yoga philosophy with the support of art and on it with a divination tool. So these are all different cards and they all have symbolic yogic art on them. Samskaras. This one says, embrace the work of undoing the habitual patterns that rule your response to life. As you sow, so shall you reap. And you've got these three different hands showing the three different phases in yoga teachings that our patterns or triggers have three different states. One is when they're beneath the surface and they haven't actually been, you know, like something can happen, but doesn't really phase you. But still, if you get pushed and prodded enough, it might start to explode. And then there's one where it's kind of close to the surface where it's not active at the moment, but if somebody pushes you, it'll come out. And then there's like, it's just full blown, right? And there's like, there's positive and negative versions of these impressions. And so our consciousness is seeded with all of these um, latent mental and emotional patterns that could sprout. So you want to have a, a, a garden that's well weeded and seeds that you plant that are going to yield beautiful fruit. So I don't know, that's a little show and tell with one card and it has a booklet and the booklet has, you know, a card that'll open, you'll open out to a card and it has the Sanskrit, uh, the Yoga Sutra, Patanjali, the definition, um, a guided sort of explanation of it that's sort of applied to your life. And then there's a practice that you can do. So that's the inner path deck. Cool. 
Yeah. Thank you, Zamir. Okay, and maybe I'll go last uh, and share what's been happening in terms of LCL, where uh, there's a, a group of sort of spiritual questers that came together and they found 12 spiritual elders around the planet. And they've been bringing a symposium together every year. And this time they want to have a symposium, but then have a one year training program afterwards. And they're, they're looking at sort of big picture, how do we save the world kind of stuff. They have 13 different teams and each team's going to have 12 people. And they're starting, I think in March, and I have a uh, February sort of deadline to get together. The first three months, it's the combo killers, the seven lifetime goals, and then the integration of the Dean Keys with the flow wheel. And then the next three months, we'll go into some teamwork. And then the third three months are collective intelligence. So it's like personal development for the first three months, then group coherence, and then collective intelligence. And at each stage of the way, they're using a, a few of, of the inflow matrix and new paradigm toolkit tools. And so that we've been meeting for months, every two hours, and sort of coming up with a design with a gene key expert, uh, a collective intelligence expert, and a couple of facilitation kind of experts, and then uh, me, and then three people from the CL who are in their core team. And then they have other people that are working on getting the, the symposium ready. So that's, that's kind of linked into this because it is going again, like this is going to sort of be the first time that a large group of people are going to be using at least some of the tools and then um you know it's, it's sort of getting me going to the to the place where i need to get some things at the professional level and so you're right zamir i mean the original idea was maybe to bring people together for my work but i mean everyone here as you can see has pretty pretty big work of their own and this may be just a synergy team, a mastermind that we come together once a week, or maybe everyone here at some point uses the tools, or I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm, I thought it was going to be something. And then Greg, who isn't here, he's creating a whole library, a uh, new 4D free space. His, he's another originator with, with an idea that it looks like he's having a board of 144 um, moons. And, he, and he's invited me to be the first move. So, and this team was kind of linked into that. So Greg's at the research position and the, you know, another originator. And so that's in the background. And then also Nova has just finished the second iteration or getting close to finishing the second iteration of what we were first shown in terms of the Oracle deck. So that's kind of probably gonna get going, hopefully what? Yeah. Can, can I can I say a couple of things just sure. um, which is that for me I came my per, my interest in being here I mean you're all wonderful people but was not to be in a mastermind or sort of like a, a social circle um, and and I don't know it, it maybe other people have a different understanding but it was to support your work to get out into the world like we all see a saw something powerful in what you did and Nova was the person who was actually creating this like tangible representation on the internet where we would all be able to use the tool and like share it with others. But in order for other people to use it, they need people to like brainstorm, to test it out, to like try out different functions. Does it work? Does it not? Because we all see the value in your tool. We want to use it. And we want like a simple, easy way to do it that we could then start to like see it grow and then share with other people. So I thought these would be more sessions of like, okay, you know, giving feedback to Nova, like coming up with ideas, iterating, testing things. And then, you know, as we apply it and use it, it'll become available for other people to use. Like I was interested in that and I'm still interested in that, but not really much else personally. Now, my little, my, the pendulum put me on the operation. So I'm sort of more on that, like, okay, what's the next thing or are we on task? So maybe that's just the voice of that coming through me. But that seems to me like for this to continue or like, I don't know how, oh, it's different. If it's a mastermind, that's a different thing. If we're just talking about our projects, but if it's to get your work out with a, some kind of prototype and Nova's working on it and he needs feedback and we're going to do that thing, then I want to know if that's what it is and if how other people feel like, is that what, am I understanding something wrong or differently? Not sure. 
No, I don't think so. I, I also, it's the same thing for me. I'm the one that's putting it out physically. So I definitely like, that's also the reason why I want to get together with this group so I can try and we can utilize the maps and the, and the cards so that I can troubleshoot, analyze it, and then um, see how it works so I can present it as well, right? Oh, so, so you're gonna be putting out physical card decks? Uh, well, yeah, and also my parking lot and my business is like physically, well, is there's spaces that you can go and like the maps are like out there. Right. The parking. So like taking people through the whole uh, process um, physically Got and it. then cool. yeah, utilizing it as a communication tool for the, for my community. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's the same, same reason why I think we all initially came together, right? To, to get it out there. Yeah, I'd like to hear from everyone else too. Uh, we might, we're, we've got three minutes for the first section here. Yeah, I'm here for that purpose too, putting out, um, you know, the Inflammatrix New Paradigm Toolkit, um, the School of Conscious Communication. Um, and I think that the best way that I know how to do that is to represent the, you know, mapping and synergizing in my own thoughts as a person and in my business protocols and practices in very, very integral, thorough way um, with, with a, a absolute comprehension of how synergy works um, in relation to this system. Um, and through that, being able to represent um, visuals and media pieces of our group, our collective, other collectives, being able to utilize the technology So it's, it's this and that from my point of view. It's like, it's essential to me and everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm living through. And also um, I'm applying everything that I'm doing, all my personal projects and um, to, to bring out this work. Um, yeah, if I can comment, uh, I also feel that it's great um, to do this in a task oriented way and, um, and to bring focus in and um, I'm just trying to figure out the, um, how this all applies to me personally, but I think how it all applies to me personally um, can be, you know, almost like the side effect of the focus on the specific, uh, the specifics of the work itself and the specifics of the presentation and um, uh, the idea, you know, that Samir said about, um, about testing, about trying the different things, about giving different ideas. Um, yeah, I, I kind of would like, I would like that as well so that it's a very specific and task oriented and that we work towards, um, I was, you know, bringing up this idea with Elijah about being a group manifestation project of some kind, and that each of us have our different uh, roles in the group. And that if we are able to really focus on that in reference to it's a one thing to say that I have, you know, this gift in this place in my gene key, but applying it to this specific creative process is what I think is important. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys on the same page. Well said, yeah. Yeah. Nova, I think. Well, we're about to disconnect it, I think. No. Again, uh, yep, I'm still here. I think we're going to be out in five seconds. Uh, we'll see you guys in 10 seconds. Okay. Hey. See you soon. Waiting for the shoe to drop. <laughs>